What's up everyone? Welcome to Eric Age Sports. Today we are going to talk about the 2021 schedule for the St. Louis Cardinals. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Otherwise you're going to miss out on some pretty cool videos. Now, when you take a look at the schedule for the Cardinals, this is 2021. We got an entire 2020 season ahead of us. Before we even get to this schedule, I never thought that I would be in this position. I did the 2020 schedule breakdown less than a week ago, and here I am analyzing the 2021 schedule. I never thought I'd be in a place where that's a thing, but COVID. COVID-19. Ah, that's the world we live in. Anyway, so this 2021 schedule will begin April 1st, April Fool's Day, in Cincinnati. Division rival, whatever. My problem is that it's on the road again. When you go back over the past 10 years, the Cardinals have pl played opening day at Bush Stadium twice. 27, er, 2017 and 2011, the only two. 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, all on the road. 2018, on the road. 2019, on the road. 2020, originally on the road. I know with the revised schedule, the Cardinals will open up against Pittsburgh, but it was originally going to be on the road. I think it's stupid. I, I think Cardinals fans are getting screwed out of some of the festivities of opening day. The excitement. But what are you going to do? Anyway, the next interesting thing about this schedule is that there are no interleague games until May 24th, when the Cardinals play the White Sox in Chicago. I'm wondering if the late start to interleague play is not intentional. Um, it could be something to where, you know, you only have division games or league games up to that point. Uh, so it's easier to get around COVID situations. I don't know. Maybe it's a coincidence. I, I'm not really sure. Anyway, as you, you go through the schedule, you'll notice that for Interleague, the Cardinals only play AL Central teams, and I think that's a smart thing to do for similar reasons, COVID. Just like the Cardinals and all NL Central teams are only playing the AL Central this year. Keep things regional, better safe than sorry, especially because it works. It works out. Now, as you get into June, you'll notice... The 11th, 12th, and 13th of June, the Cardinals are scheduled to play the Cubs on the road. I'm wondering if that's Major League Baseball leaving the door open for a possible London series. I don't know. Uh, I'm inclined to say no because you look at June 13th, that'd be the Sunday game in London, if it were in London. Well, the very next day, the Cardinals play the Marlins in St. Louis. And after that Sunday game, the 13th, the next off day isn't until the 21st. And speaking from experience, travel between the United States and London, you need a day off. That's rough. The jet lag and just... Is the the travel you need you need days off before and after if that's going to be in England. So you know I was hopeful it was it's virtually the same it's it's the, almost the exact same point in the schedule as the Cardinals Cubs series in London was going to be for 2020 originally, but I don't think that's going to happen. And frankly, I I think it's smart. It sucks, but it's, it's smart. You can't assume. That, that travel like that is good. It's going to be as easy as all right. Let's go to London and play baseball. You can't do it in, in the way things are going right now. Anyway, as the season continues, you notice the first two weekends of August are awesome. The sixth through eighth, the Cardinals host the Royals at Bush Stadium. Then the following weekend, the Royals host the Cardinals at the K in Kansas City. And I really like that. I I think 
having your rival weekend series back to back weekends, one in each city. I, I like that a lot. You know, I was I was a fan of the four game series split between the two cities against the designated rival, to where the Cardinals and Royals, or you know, for New York teams playing each other, Chicago teams playing each other, L.A. Angels and Dodgers playing each other, Rangers, Astros, all, all those rivals playing two games in one city, going to the other team's city and playing two more. I like that. I like this more. Three three uh, three game series in one place on the weekend and the next weekend the other team hosts. I like that a lot. As we work our way to the end of the season, you notice there's potential for some serious drama. The final 13 games of the season, beginning on September 20th for the Cardinals, will be at Milwaukee for four games, at Chicago for three games, following a day off, three more games against the Brewers in St. Louis, and then the season ends with three games, first three days of October, against the Cubs. The final 13 games of the season are against the Cubs or the Brewers. There is some serious potential for serious drama. So that's what almost a year and a half away, but it still is exciting to look at. Anyway, that's that's my look at the 2021 Cardinals schedule. What do you think? Leave me some comments. Let's talk about it. See you next time.